Hi guys. I think we made a mistake when we had this tinted. It's a bit too dark. So this car is four years old. And driving at night is so difficult. But now I decided that uh, instead of having a place, for now we'll remove the tent. So I have prepared some stuff here, some scraper. It's another one. It's a cutter actually. There's a blade there and heater. And inside, I have already prepared it. So yeah, I put this uh, plastic here to trap the, the moisture but um, apparently the moisture has pulled there so I need to spray it again but yeah um, I only use water yeah, just plain water to to wet the, the windshield so if you remove it um, just as it is you will leave this the glue behind but they say there are two scrapers, I can use that. But for now, I'll spray this again with, with water. And then keep the, the windshield on the outside. Look at that. It's clear. It's very little blue. So all I do is I do it like this. It's actually best done under the sun, but since it's already late afternoon and a lot of time day to day, so better use a heat gun. Yeah. So heat gun will soften the glue so that it don't stick on the glass along with the tip, the film. Why you remove it? Huh? Why you removing it? Because it's too dark. It's so difficult to drive at night. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to As you can see, there's very minimal glow, only a few there. But for the most part, it's clear. And you have to hit the glass, and it's, uh, it's hot now. Yeah. Nice, good. Okay. Yeah. Yay! Very few here left, and a few here. But for the most part, it was effective. So using a heat gun is effective. I think it's really the heat gun, not uh, so much for the water. But water help a little bit, but it's really the heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun and you have a steamer, that also works. But in that uh, that case, yeah, you have to apply steam through here, not through here. So yeah, it's a, a good method. This is what's the windshield now at night. So clear. <laughs>